brothers in Islam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said المتحابون في على منابر من نور يوم القيامة يغبطهم النبيون والشهداء The ones who love each other for my sake will be on the hereafter on high towers full of light. The martyrs and the prophets will be impressed by what they see. The martyrs and the prophets will be impressed by what they see. Brothers in Islam, what is loving one another for the sake of Allah mean? Love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is love of the character, the religious characteristic which Allah loves in a person. Which means you may love a person in one way and may hate certain aspects in them in another way. It's not, you can't possibly love everything about someone and you can't possibly hate everything about someone unless they are completely to the shaitan side. When you look at your brother in Islam, what do you love about that person that Allah loves? Hold on to that love. If you hate something about the person, don't make it something personal. Don't make it one full of envy or jealousy. And so you begin to hate them for what they have. That's why the Prophet wasallam said in the hadith, سَبْعَةٌ يُظِلُّهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي ظِلِّهِ يَوْمَ لَا ظِلَّ إِلَّا ظِلُّهُ on the day of judgment, there will be seven types, categories of people which Allah will shade and protect under His throne, which no other shade will be existent. And one of these seven categories, brothers, one of these seven categories, Rasul says, Rajulani alayhi wa alayhi. Two men or two people who love one another for the sake of Allah. When they meet, they're on that love, and when they depart, that love remains. What does it mean? Your brother in Islam says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, and loves Allah and His Messenger, prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and loves Him. You may hate certain qualities in that person, fine, but there is still something you can cling on. There is still some kind of connection. There is still a connection between you and that person. What am I trying to say? There are some people who, when they find one or two or three or four or five faults in their brother, and they may have known them for years, right? And they know probably about 50 beautiful qualities in them. Because of that one, two or three bad faults which they saw in them, they hate them altogether. They cross them out altogether. Why? You will, if you're going to work by that system, then my dear brother in Islam, you will not like anyone at all. No one. Because everybody has faults. You won't love anyone. In fact, if you claim to love yourself, it's not even true. It's only because of selfishness then. Because you will have so many faults yourself. Loving one another doesn't mean that you love everything about the person. That doesn't make sense. How can I love a person when I can't stand that he lies? I can't stand that he cheats. I can't love him for the sake of Allah. Yes, you still can. Does he go to the masjid? Okay, that's one thing. Is he a person who prays his prayers at least? Yes, alhamdulillah, that's another thing. Does he love the Prophet Sallallahu and his, Allah and His Messenger? Yes, he loves them. He says that. He loves Islam. But there are certain qualities in him you don't like. You can cling on to that and still maintain the rights of your brotherhood. My brothers in Islam, there are differences between Muslims and Muslims. Differences between you and your brothers in Islam. You need to set those aside and focus on the commonalities.